Well, hello again. I've got the garage door open and old Perlene, she's warming herself up in there and we're getting ready to back this baby out so I can go ahead and get the uh, power washer on her. I want to power wash, uh, I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. I can't even see it, it's so bright out here. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go ahead and back this baby out. Hopefully all will go well. I'm just going to back it out as far as I can get it to where it's lined up with the uh, power washer. I'm going to shut it off, going to give it a good spray and one other place down around the steering box and then I'm going to let it sit for about an hour or so until she drip dries then I'm just going to pull it back in so hopefully the back of the lights will work and hopefully the brake lights will work I know the signal lights don't work The idle's still a little fast, but it's a whole lot better than it was. At one time, it was idling at 3,000 RPM. <laughs> I've got this big old piece of cardboard. I've cut a little tab right here, and uh, I've got it angled upward. So I'm kind of cut off the corners, so it'll slip underneath this fan shroud here. And then these are bent down. To kind of you know keep the water from going everywhere but I don't care if it does because it's going to dry out and this Arkansas sun right now is horrendous even though it's late in the afternoon so the uh, I'm just going to angle that right up underneath that shroud like so there we go that's all I need right there I can just go ahead and spray it real good so let's get started on that Still got a few mud wasp nests in there. Over there, the power steering box. Well, that's going to do it, I think. All right, I just dried it all off with a rag, whatever I could, you know, just a quick wipe down, make it a lot easier for the sun to dry the rest of it out. And I'm going in for supper right now. Tonight's, uh, what am I dining on tonight? Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, two pork egg rolls, white rice, kimchi, seaweed, and a root beer. Now that's man food there. By the way, wifey, she didn't like seaweed. She didn't like kimchi. She didn't like the smell of it. I thought it was fantastic. I just love it. It's made out of cabbage. She didn't like root beer, and uh, she wasn't too keen on, uh, you know, pork egg rolls. She liked the vegetable type, vegetable type. So I used to pig out on the kimchi, and I would eat a lot of it, and then I'd make her kiss me. <laughs> I'd make her kiss me more than once. Well, it's the next day, and it's, you know, later in the afternoon. I had to go get a haircut today. I'm taking, tomorrow, Saturday, I'm taking my grandson's wife out for a late lunch. She's going to go get a massage, and I'm going to pick her up. We're going to go out to a late, a late lunch. I know a place. She likes steak. I like steak. And uh, we're going to leave her husband behind. <laughs> you know, I told her, I said, look, we're going to go to a place with some older folks, you know, about my age. They like to hang around in this restaurant. It's got great steaks and all that. And I want, I'm going to go in there, and all those my age, I'm going to have you on my arm, and I'm going to make all them guys envious. They don't get a chance to have a beautiful lady on their arm every day like I do. she got to kick out of that. So, anyway, this has all been cleaned. There's nothing but just a little surface rust now. No dirt on it whatsoever. I like that. So what I'm going to do, you know, you don't have to work your buns off on something like this. I'm just going to take this steel wire brush. 
and just kind of get all the surface rust off I can with it. <clears throat> then when I'm done, I'll spray with this uh, rust reformer by Rust-Oleum. This seems to be doing a very good job. Of course, I really don't know. Time will tell. And this car will be inside when it's not being driven anyway, if it ever does get driven. But now i got to find out why the, <laughs> the tail lights and the back of lights don't work. <laughs> you know, i got a solution for this. I think in the next video, maybe, yeah, in the next video, I'm going to show you the solution for all of these problems I've got. Meanwhile, let me get started on all of this. All the surface rust has been loosened and moved off with that wire brush. Now I'm just going to go ahead and spray it with this contact cleaner. I don't want to blow uh, rust dust all over the place. I'm just going to do it with this instead. Clean it all up. Plus it dries quick. Well, while that stuff dries, I've got some uh, pretty much worn out sandpaper here. And uh, it was a lot grittier than it is now, but I've used it so much. It's really, it's just kind of a, just a mild abrasive now. So what I'm doing is I'm just roughing up the surface of the, of the, uh, the old white to where I can go ahead and put the primer paint on. I don't want to put it on there while it's glossy. I just got to have some kind of surface for it to grab. Now comes the rust reformer. I'm going to lay it on pretty thick here. This good thing about this uh, Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer, it says on the can you only need one coat. That's it. Don't go crazy on it. So all that's needed. Now I'm going to take your, I'm going to take them for their word. You know, save me money. Now uh, I'm going to let this set overnight. They require you to 24 hours. I'm not going to let it set 24 hours. I'm going to let it set until around noon tomorrow, maybe one o'clock at the latest. Then I'm going to come out here, and uh, I'm going to shoot it with this self-etching primer by Rust-Oleum and if I have time I, I'll go ahead and paint all this underneath the rags with the same self-etching primer all the way across from this line here over to this line here at least that's what the plan I'll have to cover that's what the plan is I'll have to cover everything else up and make it all look good I'm painting it light gray because it'll be easier to cover with the Wimbledon white that I buy in the spray can, which is very, very expensive. All right, she's had uh, a little over 20 hours to dry. We're a little bit short of the 24 hour wait. However, it's just, you know, there never was that much rust on there to begin with, especially after I took the wire brush, as I said. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot it with some uh, Rust-Oleum semi-gloss black. See if we can't get this nice and coated. I want it coated really, really well. We're going to actually put a clear coat over the top of it. Uh, when you do something like this, you know, just do the best you can. That's all you can do. When you're doing a refurbishment as opposed to a restoration, just do the best you can. All of the uh, black area now has been coated with the uh, satin um, clear. And I went ahead and primed all of this. I even got a bug there already. Look at there, a little tiny bug. Anyway, I went ahead and primed all this that I had sanded earlier. And now I'm getting ready to put the Wimbledon white on here. Well, that's it for now. Once it dries, I'm going to let it dry all night. This big old black thing that I had already uh, uh, painted and worked on, oh, I guess a month ago, it'll go on over the top of this thing just like that and bolt to these uh, three holes. One here in the middle and over here. It'll bolt there like that, and it covers the uh, radiator shroud. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, the, a couple of videos ago, everybody commented that uh, they were sorry about wife's passing. I, I appreciate that, guys. I really, really do. And, uh, you know, when, when we were in our 30s, our late 30s, we discussed what was going to happen if one of us passed away, you know, first. And I said, look, if, if I pass away, I want you to go ahead and get married again. I don't want you to live the next 30 years by yourself. I don't want you to be alone. Find some responsible guy. And, uh, you know, you know, solid citizen, got a good salary, got some money in the bank, and, you know, and he's not a total fruitcake, and he doesn't drink and all that stuff. And she said, well, I don't know. I said, well, wait a minute. Don't you think it would be the same for me if you pass away? Wouldn't you? You don't want me to live by myself for the next 30, 40 years. You know, wouldn't you want me to find a woman who's, who's responsible like you and, you know, might have a job, might have money in the bank, you know, and she got a good head on her shoulders. Don't you think that I should find a woman like that to live with the rest of my life? And she said, no! <laughs>